So, you're having trouble making the white cross and putting them with the right center pieces. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you an easier way to solve the white cross. And it'll bring you one step closer to solving a cube. Let's begin. In my previous tutorial, I taught you how to solve the white cross with the white center facing up. Today, we're going to be solving it with the yellow side facing up. Now, we're going to be looking for any edge piece that has white on it. Let's start with this one. If you have the edge piece and it's like this on either the left side or the right side, all you're going to do is bring it to yellow. Now, we're going to look around for another white piece. If this piece is here, what you can do is bring it to the top. And you notice that it doesn't match, but it is a white edge. Instead, you can bring this to the side here. And do you remember that other step? You move it up to yellow. This one solved itself, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to unsolve it. So now, this piece is right here. Let's do what we did the last time. So bring it to the top, move it to either side, but now we can't move it up because if we move it up, it'll disturb the other edge piece that you brought up to yellow. Instead, we're gonna free up a spot and then bring this up to yellow. We're gonna look for the last edge piece and it's right down here. But sometimes, you can have an edge piece that's facing down. That's okay. You're not going to want to put this edge piece where there's already another solved edge piece at the top. So if your edge pieces are like this and you turn it to the top, now they swap places and you don't want that. So what you can do is free up a spot and then bring this to the top. Now you have all the white edge cross pieces with yellow on top. From here, you're going to pick any center. I'll start with blue. You're going to turn the top layer until you find the blue piece. This is red, so let's move it over. This is now blue. You're going to now move this to the bottom. And then we're going to turn the cube to the right side. Now, sometimes the edge piece might already match with the center, and you can bring that to the bottom. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to move it away and cycle through the other colors. So this one doesn't match. This does not have white. And now, the red center matches with the red edge piece and we bring it down. We're going to turn it over to the green side. 
and we're gonna cycle through the last two edge pieces. So it's not orange, but it is green. And we're gonna bring that down. Now we're gonna turn to the orange center. And you know that the orange edge is right over here. So let's just put that over the center and then bring this down. Now you have no more white edge pieces on the top. When you turn the cube over, you'll notice that you now have white cross with the proper color scheme. And now you can go on to building the first layer.